Hi there, this is Randil. Welcome again. In this video today, we will be looking at some geography. This lesson has been taken from Grade 8 Geography textbook. It's all about 1 into 50,000 topographic map. Since this lesson is a lengthy one, I have divided this presentation into four segments. In the first section of this video, we will be looking at only the scale. What do you understand by the scale? The scale is introduced like this. 1 into 50,000. It means 1 centimeter on a topographic map equals 50,000 such centimeters on the land. Finally, we will get this answer. 1 centimeter on a topographic map equals half a kilometer, 0 0.5 kilometers on the land. By the end of this video, I am quite sure that you will be able to do all this calculation, the conversion from centimeters to kilometers, kilometers to centimeters. And in the second section of this video, we will be looking at conventional signs. Conventional signs are very important to find out physical features and cultural features in the map phase. Then finally, you will be able to understand physical features and cultural features. Physical features will be taught in the third section of this video. All the cultural features and man-made structures on the surface of the earth will be covered in the last section of this video. I always tell you before you watch this video and I recommend you just go through the text. All the text in the geography last unit. Great date. Then after that you can watch this video. Without a further ado, let's jump into the lesson. Geography, the basic features of 1 into 50,000 topographic maps of Sri Lanka. Unit 4, Grade 8. First part, scale. In this section of the video, we will be looking at only scale, 1 into 50,000. And as I said in the introduction, I have divided this presentation into four parts. In the first part, we are talking about the scale, as I said. And in the second part of the video, we will be looking at only the conventional signs, which are very important to identify different features on the 1 into 50,000 topographic maps. In the third and the fourth part of this video, we will be looking at physical features and cultural features. Now let's move on to learn about the main objective of this unit. The main objective of this lesson is to give you an opportunity to study several basic features of 1 into 50,000 topographic maps of Sri Lanka. Here I have given you three pieces of a topographic map. Here when you look at this picture, I think you won't be able to understand anything if you haven't studied about 1 into 50,000 topographic maps because various colors, various symbols and various letters and also dots, numbers and also when you look at this piece of map also same so you cannot understand anything because you can see only the contour lines, different features, physical and cultural, red lines, those things. Because each and every symbol represents different physical feature but I am sure at the end of this series of video you will be able to have a clear understanding about 1 into 50,000 topographic maps. Now let's move on to learn about introduction. The first question under introduction. There are mainly two types of features of the Earth's surface. What are they? The first one, natural features. Look at this picture and this picture. These two pictures clearly show you what the natural features are. Here you can see a mountain and here also it's a mountain range. Therefore, all these uh, features come under natural features. The second one, man-made features. Look at these four pictures. These four pictures give you a clear understanding about man-made features. All these man-made structures are made by humans on the surface of the earth. Now second question, what can be used to present these features on a topographic map? Actually we can use colors and we can use letters and finally symbols. Look at this map here. Here you see, you can see different colors here. Green color, blue color, yellow color, brown color various colors, white color and also you can see some letters, sometimes provincial boundary, sometimes district boundary, sometimes the name of vegetation and the names of places and also various symbols. Here symbols are not clear, therefore I will give you this picture. You see conventional signs, so you have the boundaries, different symbols to represent boundaries and also we have tourist information and other features. And we have roads, different types of roads, railways, and here we have vegetation and drainage, relief. All these symbols represent a physical feature, whether it is 
physical natural or man made all these symbols show different features on the surface of the earth now next slide suggest another name for natural features seen on the land this one physical features this picture and this one and this one this one all these four pictures clearly depict natural features that you can see on the land next question propose another name for man made features seen on the surface of earth you see these four pictures also give you a clear understanding and clear idea about what man made features are these structures are created by humans on the surface of the earth therefore we call them cultural features next slide the scale and the size of the 1 into 50000 topographic maps of sri lanka the first question under that who began to prepare a map of sri lanka based on metric units during the first half of the 1980 decade actually the survey department of sri lanka what is the scale of the map prepared by the survey department we usually use this scale 1 into 50000 Third one. What do you understand by the scale one into fifty thousand? One centimeter in one into fifty thousand topographic map is equal to fifty thousand centimeters. That means zero point five kilometers. Let's simplify. One centimeter on the topographic map equals fifty thousand such centimeters on land, and one centimeter on the topographic map equals. 50000 centimeters that means i'm going to convert that number into meters then 50000 centimeters divided by 100 you get 500 meters on the land and the next one 1 one centimeter on the topographic map equals 500 meters divided by 1000 that means i'm going to convert 500 meters into kilometers that means 0.5 kilometers or half a kilometer and finally you will get this number 1 centimeter equals 0.5 kilometers on the land how many centimeters are needed to show the length of 1 km on land actually we need 2 centimeters according to this scale of course we can clearly understand 1 cm represents 0.5 km on the land therefore 1 km means 1 km if you put 1 km here it becomes already 2 cm if you take a line segment of 2 cm on 1 into 50000 topographic map it already represents 1 km on the land next one what is the length of sri lanka from point pedro in the north to donra head in the south 432 kilometers you see here point pedro this point and you have another point here donra head if you draw a line from here to here it measures already 432 kilometers in length that is the length of sri lanka and the next question what is the width of sri lanka from colombo in the west to sangaman kan this peak or point in the east 224 kilometers you take here this point this is kalambu and there's another point here sangaman kan if you draw one line from here to here it measures already 224 kilometers it is the width of sri lanka this is very clear and also you can have a clear idea this is kalambu and this is donra head and this is point pedro and this is sangaman kan this peak The length of Sri Lanka from Point Pedro to Donra Head is 432 kilometers. According to 1 into 50,000 scale, how many centimeters are required to present the corresponding length on a topographic map? This is very difficult, you know. Already the length of Sri Lanka is 432 kilometers. That means if you want to draw the same same area using the same length in kilometers, that is impossible because we need a paper of 432 kilometers length. therefore it's impossible to have a paper like that therefore we have to use this scale 1 into 50000 scale okay let's see the calculation 432 km times equals 864 cm now let's try to understand this calculation 1 cm equals 0.5 km if you take 2 cm it equals 1 km here we have 432 km that means 1 0.5 becomes 1 1 km becomes 2 432 km become double twice 864 next question number 8 the width of sri lanka from colombo to sangaman kan the point is 224 km based on 1 into 50000 scale how many centimeters are needed to show the corresponding width on a topographic map 
So we have to do the same calculation. Then I will later show you how we can do the calculation. 224 kilometers, it should be multiplied by 2 equals 448 centimeters. Let, let's look at the calculation more. 1 centimeter equals already according to the scale 1 into 50,000 0 0.5 kilometers. Then 2 centimeters equals 1 kilometer. Here you put the number 224, it should be doubled. That means twice. 448 centimeters. That means 224 kilometers is the width of Sri Lanka. Then if you want to mark the same line, you have to take 448 centimeters according to the scale 1 into 50,000. Next one. Accordingly, the topographic map of Sri Lanka will be 8.64 meters in length and 4.48 meters in width. Drawing such a topographic map is practical. For that reason, the map has been divided into map sheets. How many map sheets are needed to cover the whole area of Sri Lanka according to the scale? The scale you need to remember always 1 into 50,000. That means 1 centimeter on a topographic map equals 0 0.5 kilometers on the land. Now here, the answer is 92 map sheets. This map can be seen in your textbook. Don't worry about that, okay? As you can see here, this whole Sri Lanka, this piece of land has been divided into 92 map sheets. When you count from here, 1, 2, you get the number 92. Number 92 is here, right? Therefore, According to this scale, Sri Lanka has been divided into 92 map sheets. This is a map sheet, how it looks like. Here you have the type of map and here you have the name of map and here you have the map sheet number. Write down some peripheral information in the upper margin of the outer border. You can find type of map, name of the map, number of the map. Peripheral information means the information that you can find about the map face. This is the map face. In the map face, you can find physical features and geographical features. And these are the peripheral information. And also this is the upper margin of the outer border. And this is the inner margin and this is the outer margin. And that is the upper margin. And here also outer margin, but the lower outer margin. In this section, that means in the upper margin of the outer border, you can find the type of map. Here, type of map. Sri Lanka, 1 into 50,000. This scale is given here. And you can find here, name of the map. The name is given here. And here, you have the sheet number, number of the map. When you look at this information here, you can find here, different nodes, and here, linear scale, and also sheet number here, adjacent maps, and also the key are uh, different types of symbols we will be looking at in the second part of the video. This is the end. We have come to the end of our presentation today on the scale of 1 into 50,000 topographic map. As I said, 1 into 50,000 topographic means actually 1 centimeter on a topographic map equals 50,000 centimeters on the land. That means when you draw a line on the map, one centimeter and it becomes already half a kilometer on the land. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a clear idea about this scale. If you like this video and if you find this is very important for you, please hit the subscribe button and there is a bell icon next to it. You can click on that also. Then you will be posted our new videos on geography. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. I hope to see you in another video. Bye for now. Thank you.